alaikum guys it's Muhammad Hassan Khan back on the screens today I have uh, prepared again another lecture for you all and um, today it says the, it is a, a lecture of physics and in and uh, in physics in first chapter uh, I will not teach you the all of chapter because the, uh, the all of chapter is so easy and um, I will uh, teach you because uh, uh, every student have uh, some main topic some problems in main topic so uh, today in the this uh, the, uh, the the main topic of this first lecture is about uh, Phys uh, physical quantities so this lecture is about physical quantities in this lecture in this lecture um, in this lecture i will just uh, uh, teach you about physical quantities and the and the and more about physical quantities that uh, how it is derived uh, uh, everything about physical quantities okay so uh, first of all please uh, uh, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so you can get uh, so you will get all the notifications first and uh, please uh, Please subscribe it, and uh, if you have any questions in my lectures, you can give a, uh, you can question it in in uh, in your comments, and uh, I will try my level best to see my comments and give you the answer of it. So we should start it, okay? Physical quantities. Today our topic is about physical quantities. Physical quantities uh, are quantities which uh, which all the quantities which are measurable. All the quantities which are measurable, okay? So physical quantities are the quantities. Uh, that uh, that all the quantities which are measurable, uh, the, for example, uh, length, mass, time, and temperature, etc. These all are physical quantities, and these all are measurable. So that's why they are physical quantities. So when we start it, uh, so when we go further in uh, and we go deep in the physical quantities, in physical quantities there are two quantities which have come from physical quantities, and the two quantities are. Two types of physical quantities are for you all. These quantities and the another one is the another word uh, one is base quantities and the another is derived quantity so these two quantities have come uh, us from where from physical quantities physical quantities are the quantities which are measurable and from this there is Derived quantities and base quantities, as you can see. Okay, so base quantities. First of all, we will read about what what is base quantities. This question will definitely come in your mind. That what is base quantities and what is derived quantities. This question will th this question will definitely uh, comes in your mind. So base quantity. Base quantities are the quantities which are also measurable, which are also measurable because it is the quantity of physical and it is the part of physical. Okay, physical quantities. So the base quantities are uh, uh, there are seven fixed qu base quantities. Okay, one is length. I'm writing here for you. One is uh, one is length. Second one is uh, mass. Third one is uh, time. Fourth one is electric current. Fifth one is seven base quantities, seven fixed base quantities. There are only seven base quantities, okay? Remember it in your mind, it is only seven fixed base quantities, okay? So, fifth one is intensity. Intensity of light. Fifth one is intensity of light. Sixth one. Sixth one is temperature. These all are quantities which can be measured, which can be measured. Base quantities.
amount of such things also I have uh, put in it. So these seven are fixed base quantities, fixed base quantity. Okay, remember it in your mind that uh, someone said to you that uh, uh, how uh, how many are base quantities. So you uh, this question uh, this uh, answer will definitely come and uh, uh, definitely come in your mind and remember it in your mind when someone asks you that uh, how much are their uh, base quantities. So you will say number one is length, number two is mass, number three is time, number four is electric current. Number fifth is intensity of light. Number sixth is temperature, and number seventh is amount of substance. Okay, so that's why you have to remember it. You have to remember this. This base quantities and derived quantities and physical quantities. These are very, very, very important. These are very important. Okay, so you, so you definitely have to remember it in your mind. So guys, the another one is the, the another part of physical quantities is derived quantity. So now, what is derived quantities? What is derived quantities? This is a question. Okay. This is a question for you, okay? So derived quantities. Derived quantities are the quantities which are also measurable. Remember it that all the parts of physical quantities will definitely, definitely will be measurable, okay? Definitely will be that measurable. So derived quantity. Now if you go to derived quantity, derived quantities are also, uh, I think there are five derived quantities in my mind, okay? In my mind. So the five derived quantities are the five derived quantities. Number one, it is uh, acceleration. Number one, acceleration. Number two. Number two. If you go to number two, number two, uh, volume. Volume number three. Number three, it can be suggested. Number three, velocity. And if you go to number four, number four, velocity and uh, density. Density number fifth. If you go to number fifth, number fifth. Uh, uh, number fifth, uh, we can take weight. So these are the derived quantities. Okay, these are the physical. These are the base quantities. Should we start? Uh, I will give you uh, the another, uh, another review. Okay, of all this lecture. Okay, physical quantities. Physical quantities are the quantities which are measurable, which are measurable. Now, from the physical quantities, two two quantities are derived. One is base quantity, the another is derived quantity. Base quantity is known as uh, these are our ba uh, base quantities, and it is also measurable. Okay, remember it. It is also measurable. Length, mass, time. These all are base quantities. With the help of, uh, so remember it also that from base quantities, from the base quantities, with the help of base quantities, derived quantities are formed. With the help of base quantities, base quantities are the quantities with the help of other quantities are derived. It is naturally, it is naturally and from it other quantities are derived. Okay, so remember it. So this, these all are base quantities and uh, these, these are derived quantities. Okay, these are, these are derived quantities you can see. Okay, so uh, this, this for our lecture of uh, physical quantities for today and uh, please subscribe my channel. Please subscribe my channel, okay? And uh, please uh, subscribe my channel, uh, which is name is Muhammad. Uh, come study with Azan Khan, okay? So uh, this is uh, this was my lecture of today. I hope you all will be getting a great understanding from my these all lectures. And uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, proceed uh, more. And uh, so that's why please uh, subscribe my channel and give it a big thumbs up so that uh, I can also be successful in these all uh, my lectures and you can also be. So like that. Uh, give the so this is my ending of my lecture and uh, goodbye and I say goodbye from Muhammad Azam.